Broward County is starting the new school year with a new school superintendent. Bill Barnes officially started the job last month, but he's been in acting capacity since January. Howard County community reporter Dennis Valera sat down with him. He explains his approach of utilizing every voice in the school district. It's a role Bill Barnes saw himself in, but actually being the superintendent, it's something he's still grasping. I thought about maybe in, in, in the near future, four or five years or something, but opportunity presented itself right now. Barnes was Howard County Public School System's chief academic officer since 2017, before becoming acting superintendent in January. On July 1st, his first official day as superintendent, Barnes unveiled a 90-day plan. In it, his priorities are listed as follows. The state's blueprint plan, diversity, equity, and inclusion, improving learning outcomes, budget development, transportation, recruiting top talent, and overall, a strategic vision that puts students at the top. In each part of the plan, public engagement is a big part of it, as well as more public transparency. Barnes says he had to include those given what he heard from everyone in the school district. One of the number one pieces of feedback was, please just involve us and engage us. And, um, and, that, and I got excited about that and wanted to get behind sort of that level of engagement. I thought we could be the best possible school system if we tap the talents of everyone in the school system. Barnes says this is only the first of at least a dozen more 90-day plans. He says the following plans will be informed by what's needed and what the community wants. I've got 16 90-day plans over four years. And the reason I describe that that way is that I want the level of energy and intentionality that is... Um, has the attention of our staff and our community related to this printed document to be the same level of energy and intentionality for each of the other 15, 90 days segments in my term. Talking to students and their families, Barnes says he wants them to know their needs and priorities are top of mind for him. We're starting out on a fresh foot. I want to get off, uh, I want our families to understand that our students' learning and their services are priorities for me. Um, we want to do everything we can to make sure our students graduate with their dreams intact. Barnes plans to publicly provide an update on how his first 90 days go. Reporting on your corner in Ellicott City, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ. All right, Dennis, thank you. We'll make sure to stay with WJZ for Ready, Set, School. We will be taking you to all the local school districts to see how they are preparing. And you can see all of those stories on our website in a special section in the middle of our homepage or by scanning the QR code in the middle of your screen.